Now, now, what's the challenge here? Can you explain? Oh, yes, let me explain. Can you explain? Hold what on, somebody dropped a quarter. Okay. That's worth Can you explain up. what exactly happened with Congressman Burgess? <laughs> this is interesting. Today. Did you elbow him? Okay, no, I did not elbow him. No, I would not elbow him. I would not hit him in a kidney. HC5, you're all down there, right? Not a very big hallway. So I'm walking out. You could talk to Bruce Westman, because I actually called him after you guys reported something. I said, Did I hit somebody? Bruce Westman and I were walking out, and I guess a reporter was interviewing Burchard or something. I guess our shoulders hit because Burchard runs up to me and I didn't know what he was talking about. Some reporters asked me. I did not run and hit the guy. I did not kidney punch him. I did not shoot anything like that. You didn't shove him. No. I, we're walking through. You, you were at HC5, right? You guys line up along the way there. It was Bruce Wester and I walking out. He must have been interviewing someone. I didn't know it was him or something. I guess our elbows hit as I walked by. I didn't punch did anybody. He but, 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 no? but, yeah, well, he, I guess it happened because when I was walking back further, Honestly, somebody was interviewing me or talking to me, and he comes running up like, why, why, why did you hit me or something like that? I said, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't even know something transpired. But reporters or witnesses said it looked like you, yeah. there was plenty of room for you to walk, and that you intentionally hit him. There is, okay, not a place. Show me a reporter who saw that. Ask, call Claudia Bruce Westerman. A couple okay, of well, ask Bruce that. Westerman. No, I did not go up. If I, hit, if I would hit somebody, they would know I hit him. He said he, 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 said, he, said, he said he was in pain that you hit him oh, so hard. Come on now. That's what he said. Okay. Oh. That, that's far from Matt Gaines has put a... Congressman Gaines singer wrote that you pushed him twice while he was in Congress in the chamber. When have I pushed him? Kinsinger said he was in the back railing once and you elbowed him and pushed you him. You said and Gates. Kinsinger. Oh, no, I don't know, I don't know about Kinsinger. Congressman Gates, though, is filing or uh, committing, submitting a complaint to the Ethics Committee oh, over good. this this issue. Do you have any response to Congressman Gates? No, I, I think ethics is a good place for Gates to be. <laughs> so, I mean, about about Burchett said that you're the kind of guy, this is his words, as a kid, would throw a rock and then go hide under his mom's skirt. That was his exact words. What's your response? Is there bad blood between you and Burchett? No. None at all after he voted to oust you? No. What would you just say about the issue of decorum in Congress? I mean, there was a House oversight hearing where a member was called a smurf. You have over in the Senate. When did that happen? Today. 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 Who did that? You have Senator Mark Mullen. Former You have Senator Mullen, who was like about to fight a Teamster witness. I mean, how, why do you think things are so tense, are we? Why do you well, think I, I think, so tense I think right members now? have been here 10 weeks straight. I, I always watched, when I was majority leader and others, if once they got here five weeks, you, you would watch it. People would get frustrated, and you're seeing it in the pressure and government funding and um, people making different motions. You know, you, you, you've got all the different, and, and the Republicans, they went through the three or four different weeks. So everybody, everybody's tensions are high. But but just just I'm going to ask you about government funding. <laughs> yes. How do you feel about the fact, sorry, that Speaker Johnson is doing exactly what you did and is not facing the same threats that you did in passing this? Are you, do you see that as a double standard? No, I just see the same people. Eight, eight people are those eight people. I mean, they, they're going to say I did something I didn't do. Can we just That's go back to the incident from this morning? Okay, yes. so you walked out and he said that you went directly at it. There was plenty of space, he said, when you walked out of there. I mean, mm -hmm. how do you run into somebody in the H in HC5 the way, okay. and hit him in the back? How do you hit someone in the back? I, I didn't, first of all, I didn't hit somebody in the back. Second of all, you all be in HC5, I can see your interviews many times, because you press all line up along the wall. Then you got another person that you're interviewing. Then you got two people walking down the hall like Bruce Westerman. Just talk to Bruce Westerman. At the same time, we're walking down through. I'm not hitting somebody. If I hit somebody, they would know I hit them. That's not the but pressure that's what of where I am. He knows. He's saying, yes, I know. He, knows. he hit me, and I know that he hit but me. But now he's saying, I hit him in the kidney from behind. So how, yeah. how, how would he, did he see something? I mean, he I didn't hit somebody. If I hit somebody, I'd have to use my fist. That's not the case. It's a hallway walking by that I watch happens all the time. There's someone. It hit different shoulders. Are you going to apologize? Look, if I have never done something intentionally to Tim Burch, and I'm not going to do it in the future. Would you you, you Congressman Kinsinger, 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 K
I don't hear are you no going to talk to or yes. I don't, I don't, I don't ever did that to Adam. I don't know of anything of this, Adam. You're bringing something up I know nothing of. Are you going to call Pritchett? Apologize. I'm not call him. Well, I didn't punch the guy first off, so I don't have. If, if like somehow he, he feels that like I, I did, I have no intention of punching him. If if I was punch him, he'd know it. But that's not. I think it was case. a shove in the back. No, if it would be a shove, I'd have to use my hands. I'm sitting talking to this restaurant. Does this have calling him and talking I'd to him? I'd be glad to call and talk to him. Does this have this whole episode change on your whether you're gonna stay in Congress or serve out the rest of your term? No, this has nothing to do with it. Are you gonna serve out the rest of your term? You, you ask that question all the time. Go ahead. Are, um, are you going to keep going to conference meetings? Do you think it's a distraction? I know I went to a conference meeting today because we had the um, Israel. Did you guys report on that? Yeah, that we did. Video, we did. Probably the most difficult to watch of any video I've ever seen in any briefing I've ever had. I mean, unbelievable. Are you a yes on the CR? Mm -hmm. Thank what you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. Have you ever you felt. You guys miss having long press conferences? <laughs> we do. We miss. Can you tell the new guy to talk to us in the hallway? <laughs> Does he not talk to you? No. Not as much. You just gotta get together yeah. more often. Yes. You yeah. brought him all the ways to avoid us, actually, I think. Why? <laughs> you I didn't, saw those back all I didn't avoid you guys. <laughs> Are you frustrated with the same thing that's happening that got you got asked for? He's dealing with now and doesn't seem to be facing repercussions. No. That's good for him. But just to be clear, back to Richard, you don't have any issues with him, because I know a couple weeks ago in that GOP conference meeting, things got heated, and you yelled. With Richard? No, but with Gates. So no, no, he was well, also part of that group that asked you, so I that just want to be clear. You don't have no. an issue with well, those. With Gates, is I was up talking, and Gates stood up to, um, to interject, and then I just told him to sit down. That was an incident with another one. Do you, if FX wants to talk to you about this, will you... Oh, gladly. Fully cooperate with them on this? Oh, gladly, yeah. Was any of this important? Bigger hallway. You think, a, a bigger hallway? Are you so interested? Do you think Burchett's making this up or somebody else? Uh, no, have you, ever, have you ever walked like, in a tight hallway? Yeah. Have you ever been out HC5? Has anyone ever accidentally yeah, bumped have. as you go through? Has that happened to you? And that's what you're saying, it was an accident? Yes. If, but what, yeah. Why would I punch somebody? You're why not saying why no, would yeah. I kidney punch somebody? But like that, the, and if you, if you did, if I kidney punch him, he'd be on the ground. So come on, let's but be it, realistic it, about life. Okay. If it's an accident, then why did he? Why is he in so much pain? Why are you saying he's in, he's in a lot of pain afterwards? It's still I mean, hurting. I mean, you could, you could actually bump come it. on. If, if I don't even know it, it happens. He's in pain. I guess he needs a trial. So when he came up to you afterwards, he said that he chased after you. You both had this conversation, exchanged words. At that point, did you take a moment to clear this up and say, "Hey"? Okay. So, so what happened? I didn't know this transpired. A reporter's asking a question, I'm walking, and I hear him saying something, then he runs up to me and says something, and I just said, I, I, I said, I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't hit you. So I, I didn't know what he was talking about. He said something about you don't have guts, apparently. I didn't know what he was talking about. I was, did he call I you being, pathetic in that moment? What did he say? I don't know what he said. I was being interviewed by two reporters. I was just walking. I didn't even know. So it'd be like, you guys talking, somebody coming up and saying something to you. He's like, I don't know what's going on. I just want to be clear. So you're saying you have no memory of touching him, pushing him, interacting with him physically. I, I, I did. I did not push him. I did not. I did not. I did not kidney punch him. Our, sh our shoulders could have gone as we walked through. You think it was a He's shoulder? You said you'd know it. He's there. He's there. The only thing that happened. I, I don't. I, I'm not using my hands. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, if I if I use my hands, no, I'm walking with Bruce Westerman, talking with Bruce Westerman in a hallway that you guys are lined up, and then you're interviewing other people. Do you remember? Do you remember the answer? Do you remember the? No, I don't even remember the contact because he comes up to me and says, "If I had contact, you guys were with me. Were you with me today? Was was there some incident where I hit somebody? I didn't see anything. First I saw it was on Twitter." Okay. You said that he would. He's a body person walking with me. Ask you, Bruce Westerman, who's walking next to me through that hall. You said he'd know it if, if you punched him, that he would have felt it. You know, yes. know it. Have you ever felt the urge to make any physical contact with any of these members? Adam Kinzinger says you shoulder checked him. We see this today with those allegations. Yeah, you said you'd be happy to talk to him. You could hit you, Matt Gates. You said you'd Come be happy to pause. talk to him. Do you have plans to reach out to him? Sure, I'll okay. You will. Okay. Right. Do you expect the Santos? Thank you. Report today or this week or tomorrow, any timing. Uh, what about Gates? Yeah, they you tell us. On that? I mean, if I, if I run for re election, I could run to become chair of ethics. That would be good too. 
Thanks, guys. Thank you. Is that a motivation factor? Congressman,